Hello and welcome to this tutorial on C programming. Today we're going to write to a file. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm in a directory here that is empty. I'm going to create a file. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but of course use whatever text editor you prefer. I'm going to call my C file just main.c. Actually, I'll call it, I think this is the 11th tutorial, write file.c. There we go. Okay, we're going to start off. We're going to include, oops, include our standard IOH. I like to have space here and there real quick. I'm going to save and go back into that. Okay. Um, that shouldn't have that. That's why it's not color coded because it did, had that exclamation mark there. No exclamation mark there. Okay, we're going to make our uh, main function here. So int main. And of course, we're going to return zero if this is successful since it's an int. Okay, so now we're going to create a file here. So we're going to say file space. Um, asterisk F, we'll call it for file. And so we've created that. Now we're going to say that's going to be equal to opening a file. So we're going to say F equals F open and we'll create a file called test.txt and we're going to say W for write. So, so what are we doing here? We're creating basically a variable called F here that it's a file variable. And we're saying, okay, we're gonna open the file test.txt for writing to. We're gonna change that in a minute. I'm just gonna show you two different options here. There's a few options there, but here, now we're going to print something into that file. So we're gonna say F print F and then we're going to print uh, to that F variable and we're going to say hello and I'm going to do backslash N here uh, so it adds a new line character at the end of that. We'll play around with that in a little bit. We're going to say F close uh, and where are we going to close? So the F here. So again, we're creating F here and we're saying that it's this file. We're opening it for writing. We're going to print to that file where we're going to print hello with a new line and then we're going to say close so we're going to close the using f close function where we're going to close that f and that's it if we go ahead and save that we can now gcc um, our file here o and we'll just call this uh, the same thing but without the dot c oh gotta have semicolon at the end of our return there that's all it's letting us know there We'll try compiling it again. It's compiled. Now we can dot slash that file. And we had no output in that file, uh, in that program. Uh, but if we list out files now, you can see there is a test.txt. And if I was to cat out that file to show the contents of it, hello. Now, if we run the, the program again and cat it out again, you can see that nothing has changed. It actually did. We overwrote what was in that file because we opened it for writing. Basically, we're creating a new file. We're opening it and overwriting everything in there. If we want to append, I mean add to the bottom of that file, well, we can do that too. Uh, if we go back into our C program here, instead of W, we can change this to A, which means append. Now, if I recompile our program, GCC, our C file, dash O output 11, or whatever we want to name our executable, now, I run that a couple times, and if I cat out, let's clear the screen, let me type cat properly, test.txt, you can see we now have a hello four times. If I run it again, it has hello five times. Now again, if we go back into our program here, and I have the new line character here. If I remove that new line character, printf is not gonna put a new line character at the uh, end of that line. So, if I was to, I compiled it, I'm gonna run it again. I'll run it a couple times and then I'll cut it, cat it out. And so we're still appended to it. So what was in there before, these uh, five hellos are still there, but that last line now has hello, hello, hello. And you can see there's no new line even at the end of the file. Depending on how you want to append to the file, that may be important. Um, also, we can go in here and we can uh, say, copy that line a couple times. I can say hello space world here. And I can say test, be sure to put the spaces I want and then new line. So now if I compile that and I run it again, I'll 
run it a couple times, then I'll cat out that file. Oh, not that file, that's our executable. Cat test. You can see that it printed, well, here printed hello world because there was no new line at the end of the file before, so it printed it here. And even though we printed the uh, print F it on multiple lines in the program because I only put a new line at the end of test It's still putting it there all on one line. That's how it came out all kind of types of awkward um, But again, let's look at our our file here our, our script uh, vim 11.c So even though we're print effing multiple times here into that file uh, there's no new line on these lines so it will print to that same line until there is a new line character. Hope that makes sense. Let me just go ahead and remove those and go back to just our basic hello, and I will save it like that. Now again, um, you can get this executable and all the other ones in store, as well as a bunch of other scripts I've written. If you go to gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000 forward slash capital my capital bin, uh, and there you'll see these are just like a bunch of random scripts I've written over the years. Um, and if you go into C, there's tutorials and all the programs we've worked on in this um, tutorial series are in here as well, as well as the one we just created. So there you go. You can download those, modify them, play with them. You know, if you're having problems, there's errors with your code. You can always download mine and check it out. And you can also visit <coughs> filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description there. You can search through all my videos. And I do thank you for watching. And I hope that you have a great day.